Hello everyone and welcome back to Coral Island. My name is Melanie B. It is now Saturday, the sixth day of spring in year number two. And we've got some mail. Let's check it out. Got a letter from Ling. With the town climbing up to rank C, our funding has seen a bump. That means even cooler quality of life gadgets for the farm are now on the table. Ooh, I can't wait to see what those are. Let me introduce you to a couple. The auto chest and the ultimate scarecrow. The auto chest automates your production. What? And can even turn into a conveyor belt. I like that. And the scarecrow, it covers a 19 by 19 feel. Okay, well that's significantly bigger because our current one is only 11 by 11. As usual, I've drafted up the blueprints, but I'll need specific materials for R&D. Swing by the lab when you can. Okay, we are gonna go see Link today. That's if Ling is open today. Is Ling open on Saturdays? Maybe we should check the map and see. Okay. Uh, no, it is closed today. Why did she even send me that message? I guess it's because we got to rank C on our town. But we got some stuff already for harvest. Look at these beautiful potatoes. And some nice quality ones as well. Which means we'll have to go see Sam today to buy some more seeds. We'll probably just buy back some more to potato seeds. Did I say tomatoes or potatoes? Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Okay, and we got some lettuce ready too. But before we finish up with our crops, let's go let our animals out. Let's make sure this door is shut. Get the barn animals out. And we'll get the chickies out too. I'm not sure why I'm running around with the, the urchin in my hand. <laughs> um, let's actually go put some in the dehydrator. Uh, right now we got some horse muscles. Sure, we'll toss that in. We got a heart urchin, and we got three of the Red Sea urchins. We will toss all of those in. And we got some stuff from last time. Let's grab those. Um, let's go ahead and sell them so I can have enough space in my backpack. You go, you go, you go, and you as well. We can sell our sea salt. Sure, why not? I don't know if we can actually cook with it. We probably can. But we sent it away anyways. We can definitely get more of that stuff. Now I just need to find a gate. Look at all my brilliantly happy animals. I'm gonna go and make sure I get them fed. So let's grab some hay out of the silo. Right now we have 107 left. Okay, so we'll have to make sure to get our silo refilled at some point. But that point is not right now. Hello, my lovelies. Let's get everyone petted. Right, my sheeps are off cycle with each other. So you know what? I'm going to just like not share this other one right now. So that way I can share them both tomorrow and then they'll both be on the same schedule. The thing is though, then I'll end up being having the sheep shared with the goats getting milked as well. Oh well, that's fine. Um, right, I'm not sharing the sheep. Not sharing the sheep. But I will get some milk from the cow. Ooh, double products. Thank you, my cow. And what do we have here? Just one. Okay. Well... Three from two cows is pretty good. And let's go get some of this turned into cheese. We'll have to sell that cheese in a bin. Back over the fence we go. I like that we can jump over the fence. And let's get our little birdies petted. And we'll have to go and make sure they have some grass or some some hay. One, two, three, four. 
and we'll collect these eggs. Large eggs too. My favorite. Okay, last one. Got five large eggs. Um, I don't think we got everyone petted. Uh oh. Someone has run away. Okay, well, we're not gonna go and search. They'll come back eventually, and once they're back, we can pet them then. Let's get some mayo into the machine. And I think I probably should make some more of the osmium kelp essence. So, let's do that. We should be able to do 40 pieces. That's good. We'll need some glass as well. Where's my glass? There it is. And I'll put this away, this away. And that's good. Let's sell some of this cheese. Actually, I'll put some wood away too. We've got a lot of wood. What are we going to do with all that wood? But let's not forget the kelp. That's all loaded up. Now, can I put this into the mason jar? Yes! Uh-huh. I can put that in there. Can we put potatoes in there? You know, I wanted to... Did I try putting eggs into the mason jar? Um... Do we have any eggs? We got a large duck egg. May have already tried this before. I've completely forgotten. <gasps> yes! We can. What are we going to get from that? Um. Okay, we're going to put some <laughs> potatoes into the keg. That sounds super gross. And we're going to make some lettuce juice as well. Let's make some more potato juice. Sounds disgusting, but we're making it. It's going to make us money, and that's what really matters. So, we'll sell the lettuce. We'll sell some more potatoes. Why not? And I'm actually going to sell this as well. Now, we got some coffers here. I'll store those for now. And we have a blue starfish to donate. Let's go see... If we can find Sam. Actually, we didn't finish our crops, did we? We got tons of lettuce left. Maybe this is something we should actually put in our fridge. I feel like we can probably make something with this. Probably some salad. Yeah, let's hang on to some of this lettuce. Lettuce into the fridge you shall go. Surprisingly, we don't have any lettuce in here already. How come? Okay, well, we can't fit it anyway, so let's just stick some right there. And we'll maybe put some into the keg, too. Oh, did we even have any more keg space available? No, looks like all the kegs are on the go. Can I put lettuce in here into the dehydrator? I cannot. Okay, maybe we'll just sell it then. That will make us some money. And now we are going to go see Sam. Into town. So we need to buy some more seeds. Oh, there's Scott. And Bonbon. Bon. Hey Bonbon. Bon. Hey Scott. Personally, I'm not big on cut flowers. I prefer to enjoy them growing outside. But what flowers do you like? Okay, so I can say tulips. They're beautiful and delicate. Sunflowers, so bright and pretty. Not a fan of flowers. I've tried several. They didn't taste very good. That's me being funny. <laughs> um, sunflowers, so bright and pretty. Let's say not a fan. <laughs> okay, he appreciates my humor, I guess. Hey, Sam. 
Okay, let's check out what new seeds we got. We already got all of these. Oh, ooh, avocados. Uh, yes, please. A snake fruit tree. Sure, that is new. A lychee seedling. Let's get one of those. Oh, he has orange durian. They're so pricey. Sam, can you sell them to me for a thousand instead? Ooh, I want oh, mangoes too. Ugh. Ah, oh, durian. Okay, this is a spring one. We're buying it. Mango is summer. So we don't have to buy it right away. So is the peach. Apple we already had. Olive. Fall. Almond is a winter one. Oh, that's cool that there's a winter tree. Uh, these things are pricey though. Okay, well I'm glad we were able to afford some of them. Um, let's go ahead and get some more potatoes and lettuce back. I'll get 16 of each, I think. That's how much I harvested. More, please. There we go. Uh, we're down to 14,000. We started the day with 27,000 on luck. We are running low on cash. Oh well, we still have some. Hey, Archie. The oil people should return our base. They can't even take care of it. The oil people? What is he talking about? Red okay? Not sure what that means. But let's head on over to the museum, donate this starfish. Okay, one donation. We're up to 189 now. Or 188 maybe. Okay, we're at 188. That's fine too. And we are gonna head back to the farm. We gotta get this crops planted again. And our trees too. Um, so it's day six already and we're just now getting these started. I don't actually know if they'll be grown in time now. That's kind of disappointing actually. Okay, we'll plant some potatoes to start. Here we go. And done. And next we'll do some lettuce. I really need to get some more sprinklers made because I don't want to have to water my trees all the time. And there's a lot of them now. Is this ready for harvest? Not quite. Look at my trees. So where am I going to put these other ones? Oh, right. I have to till the spot. I need my hoe and I might as well grab my watering can too. Let's make sure, see how long these actually take to grow. So, grows in 10 days. Okay. 10 days and 10 days. Oh, these ones take 28 days. Oh. Oh, no. So, they're not going to be ready in time. That is a waste of my money then. Okay, well, we, we learned a lesson. And we learned that we don't have our watering can, too. There it is. I forgot I put it in this chest now. Oh, well, that's not good, but we'll get some of our trees grown in time. I wonder why they're different. They're, they, they have different planters, too. So it says 10 days, but it also says 24 days on here, too. Grows in 20 days surrounding. Eight tiles must be empty. Oh, I'm not sure how these trees work, actually. Why do the surrounding eight tiles have to be empty now? Okay, let's get these planted. So I'm going to plant... Uh, these ones only take up one spot. Oh. Oh, they have to have the... Oh, these ones don't have to be tilled. Okay. 
So these are seedlings and the other ones are saplings. So I wonder if that means that my saplings will last into future seasons or not. I really hope so. Let's plant that there. And we need to plant one more of these seedlings. So we'll get this right here. That should be a good enough spot. It's not getting in the way of anything else. Or is it? Uh, we have a lot of watering to do. It's already 5 p.m. And I am still working on the farm. Okay. It's fine. We can go into the ocean right after. We'll make some progress still. And one single spot here. Oh, I should have probably put some fertilizer on these. So these don't need to be watered. Yeah, because we didn't have to till the spot. Well, I guess I like that. So we can just leave those unchecked for 28 days. Not that it's going to be ready in time. Okay, let's put that there, that there. And we are going to go diving. So we'll head down to the pier. And into the water we shall go. Where did we leave off last time? Right in this spot. Look at all this beautiful osmium quality kelp. And another starfish. We'll take it. We'll probably just go- Oh, we got double that time. We'll probably just go ahead and sell that guy. Or two. Because we got two of them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And we need to check out the map. So, we got one more coral site up here. And there's two here, two here. So just five left to go. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Now we needed to find a path. Um, so it should be this way. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And the roots are receding a little bit more. And there they are. Now we just need to find the activator. And there it is. <laughs> Ask and you shall find. Freebie coffer. We'll take that. Now we need to clear out a path for this guy. And right away there is a blockage. And we're gonna get this all cleared up before the night is over, I'm sure. It's doing a lot of backtracking on this one though. Where to next? Oh, we got some more roots over here. But that is all cleared out now. Love to see it. Well, there certainly is a lot of trash around here. again. Very interesting path, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Just as long as we're clearing it out. Are the roots going to recede anymore? Let's see over here. Back up you. Let's 
see if we can't find another activator tonight. Even if we can't clear the path for it necessarily, at least if we find it, we'll have a good start on tomorrow. So the roots aren't really receding over here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And it reveals a whole bunch of trash. What a shocker. And, oh, it's going back even further. Oh, what is this thing? Is there anything special here? No, it's nothing at all. In that case, I think we'll just clear out this area and hope to find an activator. And hopefully all of this clearing is going to really improve our town scores. And we're certainly picking up a lot of trash. We should find some other stuff we can do with our trash. I wonder if we can just like make stuff with the trash and like sell it. Like we can make scrap and we can make compost, but is there anything else worthwhile? That we can just make and sell. Ooh, activator. Perfect. So that means we'll have three more to find now. We can work with that. Who knows, maybe tomorrow we'll get all of these cleared out. Or maybe not. Maybe it might take a few more days than that. Okay, we gotta get out of here though. So, that's going to be at that blockage for next time. But we got to get back to our farm. We'll take a quick fast travel. And here we are. Let's see what we can sell before we head to bed. Mayo is not quite done yet. We'll get some of this stuff from our kegs and mason jars. Got a bunch of cheese. Um, we'll grab all this. And we'll take some of that too. Okay, let's get this cell bin filled right up. Maybe not quite filled up. A large salted duck egg. Should I sell this? I think I want to hang on to that. I don't know if we can cook with it or not. But maybe we can. And we'll set some stuff aside to take to Ling tomorrow. And some coffers too. And into bed we shall go. And we'll call it a night. So for today, we didn't level up anything, but we certainly earned a lot. 10,960 coral coins, and I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.